你什么不会使动？就是动之后你会衰。你是动就动，你一世人就是了。You know, these words would always ring in my mind each time I get arrested. Back in the seventies, society wasn't that forgiving. Being a divorcee, raising a child on your own was already bad enough. But you add to it that the child's father was of a different race. That was really unacceptable. We lived in the Katong district in my maternal grandfather's house, and a few of my mum's siblings uh, they lived together with us. There were many times my uncle would punish me over things that I didn't do. When they questioned me, and it didn't matter whether I told them that I didn't do it, I'll still get punished anyway. Two weeks after my birthday, I was summoned by an uncle. Each time I denied, I was smacked across the face. I cannot remember running to the kitchen, nor taking up the chopper. What I remembered was my mom holding onto my wrist for dear life, and her voice. That was all she said after everything was over. And for the next twenty years, we moved from rental to rental. After three months into joining a gang, I was introduced to my first stack of weed. For the next thirty years of my life, I brought her a lot of shame and misery. I stole and lied to her. Yet. Time after time, I wondered why she didn't learn from her lesson, but chose to believe what I said. It was during this time that she said those words that was the most painful for me. I was the reason she cannot hold her head up high anymore. She was too embarrassed. I texted her one afternoon to tell her that, and after finishing my work, I'll bring her out for for food for makan. You know, when she didn't respond, I found that it was strange. So I went to check on her. She was the best mother any child could have, and I'm so blessed to say that she was mine. I, through my selfish actions, had brought her unnecessary misery and pain for the last thirty years. The only consolation I have is that for the last seven years, she could lift her head up high once again. And say, "This is my son."